Hi, my name's Maverick and welcome to my channel. Now we've all seen or heard of the statistically unraidable base and here's an example of one. We've got one that's 24 foundations long. Now this is a very difficult base for raiders to tackle. It has no front or back and there's no core to aim for. So I thought it's not a bad little design but there's not a lot in the way of base defence on it so I decided that we could possibly turn this into a circle shape and this is what I came up with the redoubt so what we've got here is the same 24 foundations as what we see over there but in a circle what we've thrown in here just for a bit of extra good measure is three stability bunkers and each one is divided by four stone walls uh, so from, to get from one bunker to the next you're going to need to breach these walls. You have a compound and as you can see the heli fits in here nicely and down here we have the bunker in this section. Now I've done the core flush but it doesn't need to be, none of this is structural. As a second option you can have a large furnace in there. Now I'd like to point out with this base that most raiders are going to be put off because they like to blow for the core which is generally where the TC and main loot is but if they do blow through one of these sections and end up in the core they're still on the outside of the base no further ahead really so anyway that's a quick description of the base let's get on with the build now I've temporarily laid a low foundation there just as a guide to give me the height so we can now start our 2x1. Placing this small box here will enable us to place the TC in exactly the right spot ready for the bunker later on. Now of course it is important to get these walls up as quickly as you can so the base all looks the same and people can't see where your starter or your TC is. If you are worried about it, you can always move the TC later on. Thank you. 
As you can see, I've left the end cap stone near the entranceway. That's because that's acting as honeycomb. All three towers are the same, so just repeat this step twice more on the other two towers. Now you notice I'm using wood here and that's because these sections don't add anything to the raid cost so they might as well just be left wood, they're only really for standing on. Placing your ladder hatch over the doorway like this enables you to use the ladder hatch to fire from and, get, and you get a little bit of cover when you open up the door.
If you are going to use one of these to store your heli, then you won't need those walls. Now I'm just going to give a little example here of how you can set up loot rooms and uh, bedrooms and stuff but it really really is up to you where you place your stuff and that way nobody knows and you probably won't either, it'll take you a while to get used to where everything is. Make sure you're crouching when you do this and I always wear flippers because I find it just slows down my movement speed a little bit but you just want to be clipping that in and you won't have a problem with this you can take your time over it and make sure it's done nicely now this is a nice little bunker because with the new industrial update you can actually pipe through to your TC um, and you can lay your vending machine on top of your pipes And these four walls go onto your triangle foundations and act as divides between each individual bunker.
Now, for some weird reason, you'll be able to get your heli in there, but you won't be able to get it back out unless you make that frame metal. <laughs> 